Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Vinnie G channel, a channel about everything and a channel about nothing. So what do we have here today? You are looking at a direct video recording straight from my arcade machine. So I'm sitting, pardon me, at that blue arcade machine you see um, in my videos itself. And I am doing a recording while I'm playing a game suggestion by Crimson's Fantasy. Crims. So here what we have, if you don't recognise the name, Dirk the Daring, is an old technology. Uh, I remember playing this, I, I think it was around July, June, July 1983. I paid $4,000 for a car at the time and that $4,000 um, wasn't uh, a lot of money by comparison to these days, but it did take up a fair bit of my wages. So I actually had a part-time job to fund my habit, and my habit was playing arcade machines. So I'll drop some coins in, and they're the ones you hear now. Now this game, all it really involved was, um, it's a game of memory. <coughs> so you just had to push the joystick in the right direction at the right time, or push the sword button in the at the right time. Um, it either gave you flashes, where to go or sometimes it gave you nothing and there was the wrong push would bring a different outcome to the right push but there was only ever a possible two outcomes in this so let's have a game and I welcome you to Dragon's Lair this was what they call laser disc um, format and Whoops, didn't even make it to the rope because I had to bend down and turn the sound down in case I got some feedback. But um, it was a new technology at the time. These graphics had, hadn't been seen yet. Whoops, just turned into the wrong flame. Just showing you the possible outcomes of the wrong pushes, which I'm not meaning to. So let's get down to it. Forward, run, sword, one forward as you can see I remember the moves and then left and you go through sword straight up that was a push and through the wall you go okay to the left to the right I should have said oh, damn I've only done that level a few times but yeah this was completely different to the 16-bit graphics we were playing such as hyper sports um, uh, pac-man all those things oh damn push the wrong button I oh, know push the right one okay to the door here we go in the barrel of rum hum 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 as you can see the lights flash where you're meant to go but it's not always the case on this game for example here ah oh damn people didn't realize yet to maneuver yourself you can hear the beep from the joystick into that lighter stream to get through and here you had no light but just use of common sense push the opposite way to the whirlpool and you would make it through here you would crash the chain flashes go in one wrong move only one of two outcomes happens life or death no second chance but these graphics were absolutely tremendous I never understood why they put this in a dungeon type environment. Oh, pushed it too early. Splat. Oh, this one is a pain. Never made it all the way through this. I'll try. I've got him. Oh shit, I've never made it past this. 
Okay. Ah, well. Deflect the weapons by the push of a button. At the right time. Oh, pushed it too late. Oh no, I got it right. If I remember right, the gargoyle here is going to come to life. Push the sword button. Got him. Okay. Oh boy. Sword button. Over to there. Over to there. Ah, oh, damn you. Ugh. Push the sword button too early. Okay, here you had some gargoyle things. Up here. Okay, up we go. Ah, uh, this one. <laughs> so, that was basically a top game of its time, 1983, Dragon's Lair, on the Daphne system. And the system was called, was so called, named after the princess that Dirk the Daring is trying to rescue, which is. Daphne. So I hope you enjoyed this video and as always look after yourself guys and see you on the next one.